Hey everybody, I'm the Happy Cabby, and today we're going to be responding to Spike Bravo. Yes, it appears he wants to start it up again. Uh, the title of this video is called Happy Cabby's Death Threat Slander. Now first of all, let's get one thing out of the way. Uh, Spike Bravo lost his account uh, due to a flagging for the video titled Happy Cabby the Sadistic Invalid. If you want to see a copy of that video, I have uh, posted it here, in case anybody wants to see it. That's his video in entirety, unedited, right there. Now, I disagree with that flagging. In my opinion, someone should not be flagged simply for criticizing me. What he should have been suspended for is dropping docs. And that's what it, and I've got screenshots of annotations on his videos. Links are down below if you want to see that. Uh, dropping docs is something that you should not do on the internet and uh, threatening to do that, that is something that you should be sus suspended for. So the Spike Bravo channel being suspended, I support that decision, however he was suspended for the wrong reasons. I just want to make that clear. But anyway, let's go ahead and get on into his video. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about an issue that I thought was dead but unfortunately, it's not. It's only dead because you keep bringing it up. When's the last time I made a video about you? I made a video about you when you went after me again. See, this is how it works. You want me to leave you alone, you know, quit going after me, and then I leave you alone. But when you post videos, I respond. See, that's how it works. And she basically posted a link to me. Uh, of that video that Cabby did, known as the uh, Spike Bravo death threat video. Now, here's the funny thing. I never gave my side of the story in regards to that video. Well, I did, but the video that I did was flagged as well as every other video that I did on the subject of the trauma and the issue of Happy Cabby that I actually posted. Well, to my knowledge, you've never responded to this in video. However, you have posted on the YouTube help forums. Links to that is going to be down below. And also in the comments of your video, in which I'm reading, and I quote, I only have my word. Of course, I'll remind everyone that they did not see any of the show before the bid Happy Cabby ripped, edited, and posted. You actually think I'm stupid enough to literally death threat someone on the internet. Also, I did not specifically say Happy Cabby. It was general enough that it could have been anybody. Hell, it could have been half the shoppers at Walmart on a given day. So the video could have been about anybody. Okay, I would now like to play for you the unedited version. The reason why there was an edited version is because I wanted the video to post as quickly as possible because then I was going to go down to the police station, which is where I went to as soon as the video was posted. Anyway, here is the entire version right over here. Very polite conversation. It shouldn't take more than a half hour. Maybe an hour depends on uh how quickly we can uh, cut the fat, so to speak, or chew the fat. What's the, what's the, what's the uh, colloquialism? Cut the fat or chew the fat? I forget. Cut to the chase, yes, that's good. That's This is really durable, sticky duct tape. So when I get up to, uh, when I'm in the woods, I can probably actually use it to uh, uh, help put a shelter together. I'm just gonna have a conversation with you, that's all. Just a conversation, because I know he's watching. Uh, he pulled some bullshit. He called up Freedom's Phoenix and told me, told somebody that I had gotten a death threat. 
So, uh, I don't know what that was about. I was like, what the fuck? Basically, it was that he didn't like seeing the fact that I was on TV at one of those protests. So he got freaked out. Uh, no, actually, what he did is he said, and I just heard this from one of my fellow activists, apparently he called and said that somebody had made a death threat against me, but they had emailed him. Apparently, you know, either my boss or one of his buddies thought that Cabby was on his side. Apparently the email told him that he had to be, that basically the email said to him that he had to be in a public place for 48 hours. Yeah, for whatever reason. Death threat was against me. Somebody apparently emailed a death threat about me to him. They said, apparently they said, Cabby, we need you to be in a public place for X amount of hours. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Just looking out for you. He gets rid of my YouTube channel. He destroys my Block TV channel. Um, he makes slanderous video after slanderous video about me, and you want to claim he's looking out for me? <laughs> That's insane. That's insane! Do you know how insane that is? Do you know how insane that is? Huh? I said, do you know how insane that is? Don't know. Frankly, I think it was either him that made it up or one of his troll buddies. I'm just gonna have a conversation with him, that's all I'm gonna do. I spent like a half hour at a sharp fitness. Exactly. Funny. Funny, funny, funny. Yeah, I don't think there was a death threat. I think it was just his simple mind playing fucking jokes. Besides, when I'm gone, I won't have to worry about any of that. None of that. <sighs> Maybe that was just an advertisement for a mod. I don't know what the hell. It's fucking whacked out.
But I do wonder... Like anybody actually cares. No, I, I really don't think they do. I think it's like seeing a car rack. You look at the car rack. Can't help but see the theme though is if you've ever if you've ever seen the way Germans fight or think, see there, there's examples of this in uh, World War Two diaries where somebody gets pissed off and they wait months years before actually doing anything to the person that pissed them off. That way the person has time to forget about it. Well, I did lose my job right after uh, I let him stay with me, so. But see, I'm not going to talk about, I'm not going to mention anybody by name, because if I do, it'll get my blog TV channel shut down like the last one. First more people were in here. Because you know, every time I post a video, somebody, and I don't know who, I think it's Spot, gives it one star. It's him, my boss, Cabby, the Butcher. Um, too bloody. It's not a, the Butcher is not a uh, sexy man. That's a girl's name. Slasher. Slash. Slasher or slash? I need a sexy name for my knife. Just a second. Now, is there any doubt in your mind that he was talking about me. Especially when you say this in your video. And then of course Happy Cabby tries to silence my speech because every time I make a video about it, he's like, oh, trolls, onward, we must flag this and ban this because, you know, God forbid I make him look stupid. God forbid I show how stupid he really is. People like Happy Cabby, he's an idiot. Idiot! Oh, and in response to another comment that you left on your uh, video, uh, I was not logged in as a person by the name of Ashley. Um, the person that I was logged in as is, well, I was actually a perma-op in your room, if that gives you a clue. Why do you think I was in your blog TV room anyway? Because you were threatening to drop my docs. I had actually complained to Blog TV that I have a person on YouTube saying that he's going to go on Blog TV dropping my docs. Blog TV sent me a response and said, We can't do anything until he does it. Therefore, I actually had to catch you in the act. Fortunately, you made this all too easy due to the fact that you recorded so much of the evidence that I sent over to Blog TV, including where you dropped my docs right here. 
Okay, for some reason it's not letting me rip this video, but nevertheless, this is a Spike Bravo on his blog TV page. Uh, it is RWM Tiger and Trolls, recorded on February 6, 2010. Um, basically, around 2 minutes and 40 seconds into the video is when he drops my docs. And here we go. Uh, I got reported for TOS. A video of half Cappy. Or... As his real name is. And, um, I took it down within 8 hours. But... his fucking channel and it was there for 48 hours and I fucking even emailed him I said take this off your fucking featured so they were even though the video was private and 8 hours after it was posted it was still being shown on the channel for 48 hours that's one of the things I got those were flagged and taken down, and uh, my channel was suspended, and this this went on for quite a few months, actually. At one point, Cabby had over 20 videos of me, which were basically slandering me, making me look stupid, making me look like some kind of delusional, insane uh, monster. Oh, I can stick my hand in a hot stove burner and not be burned. I must be God. <laughs> If genocide ever happens on the part of the government, I'm going for it. Ah, uh, I think it was entertainment, but fucking my dog while down to a shot of Jack Daniels and Fickle Man. No, 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 no. I'm so fucking sick. <laughs> Okay, let's talk about the uh, the 20 or so slanderous videos. Uh, you and I both know that most of these videos we worked on together uh, when you were living in my apartment, and this is what you had to say about those videos. So just remember, when there are balloon caricatures doing impersonations of you on YouTube, just think happy thoughts. Instead of the homicidal rage that... I feel where I that is correct. Take a thumbtack to them. <laughs> <clears throat> well, and it's, it's about being. And, and besides, I've also ran each and every video by you before I posted it. It's just exactly, and it's, it's fine. Second of all, when you moved out, uh, you and I went on Blog TV, and this is what you had to say then. There's. I mean, you don't really have any videos on your site that are going to do that much damage to me uh, compared to what the trolls and what Jamie Demeter and his ilk are putting up. And again, can you point to a video that slanders you? All I'm doing is simply replaying your words. For example, just for the lulls, here's a little snippet of you. Let's all be intellectually honest. I realize that there are a lot of people in this day and age who are mediocre. There's not one exceptional thing about them in any way, shape, or form. They're the ones you see working at taco stands. They're the ones you see working at car washes. They're the ones you see working at convenience stores. I'm tired of the level of ignorance that I see on YouTube. I'm tired of the level of ignorance that I see in the world. I'm tired of people who are so sure of themselves, and yet at the same time so utterly ignorant about the concepts that they expound upon. Let's talk about women, specifically women who are 
the bottom feeders of the female world. Let's talk about somebody like, say, I don't know, Katie's opinion. If not for YouTube, you'd be on the street corner in Philly somewhere selling your little body for chump change to buy crack to feed your ego needs. Because let's face it, Katie, you are one idiotic little bitch, that's right. I'm right now, I'm fucking in hitter mode. And then you wonder why you got so many people angry at you over the internet. Because of stuff like that. And also like this. I know that a full-time 9-to-5 job is not what's in it for me. I know that about myself. You know, there were things that went on while I was his roommate. Things that I will never discuss because they were simply so perverse and bizarre and sickening and degrading. You recorded it. This is called Cabby's Foot Fetish. It was uh, recorded on February 10th, 2010. Let's see what he has to say. Yeah, you know, I don't think, you know what, I never asked for the computer. I didn't even want the computer. You're using it. Because I know Happy's kind. And when I say that I know his kind, I know how people like him operate. They do good things because they expect to be paid back. Get to the part where I molested you. Yeah, I assume he said it was a gift. He said it was a gift, but I just, I get all these people screaming at me to give him money. Just to keep giving and giving and giving and giving. That was who's telling you to give to sacrifice to everybody else? Who's, who's telling you to give me money? You know, I kind of think that it might have been a homosexual thing because <laughs> here you it comes. Fly your fucking roommate a goddamn computer. Hey now, come on, you sexy bitch. Um. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I gave him my time. <laughs> I mean, yeah, basically. I was crimping his lifestyle, his lifestyle of looking at feet on the internet, <laughs> looking at small children's feet on the internet. Oh, it's now it's small children. Okay, I love it. Yeah, it's not even a life. The only reason I'm still fucking here in Phoenix is all that goddamn court bullshit. My children, my church. Uh, don't make accusations. Cabbage, what you feel? Okay, Patrick. Patrick. Ah. Okay, you know what? When somebody's touching my feet and getting sexually aroused by touching my feet, and I'm not even fucking aware of it because I'm. That is right. It is. That's right. My personal boundaries. It's a violation of my body. And if you don't like it, if you don't think so, well, that's your problem. It's like, wait a minute, haven't I made it clear? I haven't, hasn't he made it clear through his slander videos that he doesn't like me and I don't like him and I want nothing to do with him? Well, let's review, shall we? Uh, when you moved out in October, you sent a whole bunch of messages to a lot of people, uh, close friends of mine. Of course, a lot of them forwarded the messages back to me, and I didn't say anything. Uh, I never made it public. Um, in November, when you announced, it's like, hey, you got a job, you need uh, some bus money to get to California to go to the job, I posted a video. Uh, in fact, the link to it is down below, and telling people to donate money to, to the PayPal. And, of course, you got the help that you needed to get to California, and lo and behold, there was no job, but, you know, what are you going to do? <clears throat> I didn't make public that we were feuding until January, and that was about the time when you uh, did that uh, Spike brought the Happy Cabby the Sadistic Invalid. Uh, even prior to that, I uploaded a video titled There's No Feud Between Us, uh, simply because I didn't want anybody fucking with you. It is only when you kept making videos, kept making videos, kept making videos, that I finally responded, and lo and behold, 
someone flagged your video and it was taken down. And I already stated that I disagreed with the fact that your video should have been flagged. Let's go ahead and talk about the other videos. Why am I not wanting to take these videos down? Well, first of all, most of them are parodies. Uh, most of these things are skits that we worked on together. Uh, of course, videos such as the uh, Spike Bravo death threat and uh, also defending myself against accusations. Those two videos are very important and I'm going to tell you why. When you moved in, there were a bunch of people who sent me messages warning me about you. Now, who was I going to trust? The person standing right in front of me or somebody anonymous on the internet? Uh, they didn't have any real concrete evidence or anything like that. All they said is like, hey, he did this, he did this, and I'd ask you about it and you said, no, I, I never did it. This time we have actual video proof. When I was no longer able to afford to provide a place for you to live, that's when you turned on me. And now as far as uh, the fact that uh, your claims that you had to be uh, constantly cleaning up the apartment, it's a studio apartment. Uh, in fact, here's a uh, annotations, uh, not annotations, but links down below. One titled, The Home is a Total Mess, and then two, When You Finally Cleaned the Place Up. It takes me 20 minutes to, uh, to clean a studio apartment. Um, shouldn't take you any longer than that. Um, you had uh, a roof over your head. Um, you had uh, electricity. Um, um, I was paying for the telephone. We had telephone with the apartment for a while. And then when they switched that off, it's like, okay, I got, I got a telephone for the most of us to use. And uh, I didn't really use the telephone that much. It was mostly just to help you with your job search. Hey YouTubers, how's it going? Uh, today, in order to assist with my uh, job hunt, I went ahead and I bought a, uh, a disposable phone. It's a track phone. And I got it at Walmart for about 15 bucks. And then I bought, uh, I got 60 minutes to put on it. Now, Happy was making the argument that because I have a cell phone, we don't landlines really aren't that useful but uh, in a situation where you're kind of not really doing too good with the employment and you have to contact uh, unemployment offices, disability offices, other government offices which generally put you on hold and you can burn 20 minutes of you can burn 20 minutes just being on hold now I don't know about you but if I'm on a cell phone that's an expensive 20 minutes whereas if you're on a landline and you're calling them it's not really that much because landlines are so much cheaper than cell phones now happy what was your argument for the landline what I said is that in my opinion you getting a cell phone was a needless expense because you currently do not have unemployment coming in anymore uh, you don't have food stamps coming in anymore your only income now is blood plasma and with uh, your expenses such as uh, your high bike and also your storage shed in california okay. i don't think you can afford the cell phone and okay. i'm already paying for this phone that serves all of your needs and then when i couldn't provide for you anymore that's when you turned on me. And you've been in a thorn in my side ever since. You keep making new accounts and posting videos. Which is fine, you can post videos about me all you want. But then don't be surprised when I respond. That's how it works. Was the fact that this, this major YouTuber, who is somebody I would like to do collabs with, somebody who I respect, somebody who uh, I would like to be friends with and you know she, she researches my I mean you know, we, we all do it when we're on YouTube we might we find somebody who we, we think oh I wonder what this person's like and we try to we watch their videos we look at their comments we look we try to figure out what kind of a person are they and because of the slander videos that Cabby has of me uh, people think there are some people who still think I'm a monster. If I was half the monster, you say I am? Then you would need to do your best to 
find the brightest bit of truth to dwell in, lest I steal in from the shadows and wrap iron chains around your wrists and throat. A physical symbology of what you already are. And his goal is to slander. His goal is to destroy my character. His goal is to destroy my reputation. You want to know how you improve your reputation? You improve your reputation by being reputable. By how you conduct yourself around others. In this case, on the internet. Now, yes, you did post a death threat. You can deny it all you want, but it's there. Everybody saw it. Now, does this mean that you can never move on from this? No. Instead of saying, it's like, well, I never did it, I was joking around, or it could have been anybody, you know, it was not about Happy Cabby, when clearly it was, just say, it's like, hey, it was a lapse in judgment, and I want to move on, and that's fine. There are things that can never be undone, and this death threat is one of them. Uh, this is something that people do need to know about you. That this is something that you are capable of doing when you feel that you have no other options. Now, if somebody wants to work with you on YouTube, that is their decision, but they need to know what they're getting their hands into. Had such videos been available when you moved in with me, uh, things certainly would have been a lot different. And that's all I have to say.